Guys, what is going on? Welcome to my Evolution Card Predictions video. We all know that the historic WWE Evolution all-women's pay-per-view will be coming up in a matter of a month. It'll be airing on October the 28th, live from the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Long Island, New York. I was originally going to do a top five video, but I figured I'd just combine that with a card predictions video. So let's get into the card. Let's not waste any time. I'll talk about the matches that have already been announced and then get into my card predictions. So as of now, we have Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss announced for the Evolution pay-per-view. And we also have Lita versus Mickie James. So we got those two matches. We also have the finals of the Mae Young Classic. Now, I'm not going to spoil The spoilers are out there. So I'm not going to say who is in the finals of the Mae Young Classic because that is ongoing. So I'll just leave it at that. We will also have an NXT UK Women's Championship match. Not sure what direction they're going to go with that. Still haven't seen the launch of NXT UK. Not sure where they're headed with that. So with all that out of the way, let's get into my card predictions themselves. To start, I have a 25 women over-the-top battle royal. I think it's fitting. You know, on a show like this, they say they're going to have 50 women. So I figure 25 women, battle royale. You can throw a couple surprises in there. Maybe a Kelly Kelly, an Ivory, a Jacqueline, a Victoria, you know, Molly Holly. You know, and some, some of the current women as well from NXT the main roster, and there you go. That gives them a spot on the card, because it's going to be hard to get everybody on this card. So I think a Battle Royale would be an easy way to solve that. This is an interesting matchup here. I was thinking, what could you do with these two? Now, Asuka, they're teaming her up with Naomi on SmackDown to fight the Iconics. Okay. But you know what I'd like to see Asuka do with the Evolution pay-per-view? Have a Raw versus SmackDown match. Asuka versus Ember Moon. There's history there. They had some pretty damn good battles for the NXT Women's Championship. The fact that Ember Moon couldn't beat Asuka. You could play that up in the storyline. It gives Ember a high profile opponent. Be that as it may, as Asuka's stock has dropped, she still can be rebuilt as the Empress of Tomorrow. It's just going to take some time. And Ember, I mean, she's so talented. It's just, I would like to see a direction for her and to give her some type of character development. That would be just great to see other than her fighting in random tag matches each week on the worst show on television, Monday Night Raw. So there you go. For the NXT Women's Championship, I think it's safe to say we will see Kyrie Sane versus Shayna Baszler. These two had an excellent match at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. And I don't see why they wouldn't have another great match here at TakeOver Evolution. These two have really good chemistry with one another. They told a great story in the ring of Kyrie Sane being able to overcome the bully Shayna Baszler. So I would like to see these two go at it another time. Why not? So there you go. That's my NXT Women's Championship match. I have the Bella Twins facing the Iconics. You know, I don't want to see Nikki versus Ronda. I just have no I have no interest in that at all. It does nothing for me. I don't think it would do anything for Ronda either. Oh, she beat the longest reigning women's champion. And like I said, I think there's better uses for the Bellas. You put them against the Iconics, decent tag team match here. Gives the Bellas a spot. There you go. Gives Billy Kay and Peyton Royce two opponents to work with. So I think it's a win-win for all involved. Like I said, it gets spells on the card. Gives the Iconics something to do. Create an issue with them on SmackDown. Considering technically Nikki is still on SmackDown, even though she floats between Raw and SmackDown. I don't know where the Bellas are. They're on Raw. They're on SmackDown. They're on 205 Live. Don't be surprised if they would show up on 205 Live. Now this is a match. That I have always wanted to see. We're not going to get it. But I figure I would just have some fun. You really want to spice up this Evolution card. 
you really want to do a match that people would be clamoring to see and that I have always wanted to see, and I've been saying it for a while now. This goes way back. AJ Lee making a return to WWE to take on Stephanie McMahon. Now that is best for business. Oh, and I went there. I think based on the personal animosity that these two have in real life, the build for this would certainly get me to want to tune into Raw every week. I just think there's so much history there that you could build off of, where it was really AJ Lee who called out Stephanie McMahon on Twitter for being a hypocrite, you know, an AJ's pipe bomb promo, and her long reign as Divas Champion. She really helped lay the groundwork, along with Trish and Lita and Mickey and everybody else that came before for the women's evolution. So I think if you want to have AJ Lee wrestle on this show... Put her up against Stephanie McMahon. It's not going to happen. There is no chance in hell of that match happening. But I would certainly like to see it. Just saying. Next up here on my card, I have Bailey versus Sasha Banks. So easy to do. WWE. It is so easy to do. I could book this feud in my sleep if I wanted to. Yet on Raw, the worst show on television... We have Bailey and Sasha in meaningless tag team matches as the, the huggable ones or whatever their hug life. I don't know. And apparently Sasha Banks might be injured now. So who knows what her status is for Evolution. I hope Sasha's all right, but I did hear she suffered an injury. We'll see what happens there. Um, but they're just toiling away on Raw. Bailey wrestled Dana Brooke this past week. I'm just like, why? What is What are we, what are we doing with Bailey? We're doing nothing. We're filling time. That's what we're doing on these three-hour marathon episodes. It's just like, oh my goodness. We could have done the match at SummerSlam. We didn't. I figured, oh, that means we're holding off for Evolution. I don't even know if I care at this point. I mean, it's just like Sasha and Bailey. What are you doing with them? It just makes me go, ah, you make me so frustrated. But um, put them in a singles match on the show and let them go out there and they can prove why they stole the show, just like they stole the show at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. I would know. I was in the building for that match, and it was incredible. Just saying. For our two women's championship matches here for the main roster, I'm going to go a little bit of a curveball here. Ronda Rousey defending a Raw Women's Championship against Ruby Riot of the Riot Squad. Fresh matchup, different matchup. I was intrigued when the Riot Squad, the Riot Squad confronted Ronda on Raw this past week. And then, of course, it was just a setup for the six-woman tag match at Super Showdown, which, of course, I have no interest in watching. Unless it turns out to be good, I'll change my mind. But as of now, I'm not watching that show. So I think giving Ruby a nice, you know, shot here against Ronda, yeah, she wouldn't beat her, obviously not, but I think it would be a good showing for Ruby. I think her and Ronda could go out there and have a pretty competitive match. And like I said, it would put a nice shot on Ruby. You know, they're building her up, I feel. Ruby's done well for herself on Raw, you know, since moving. So, yeah, if it was between her and Natty, I was flipping back and forth. I think you could save Ronda versus Natalia for down the line. So, yeah, I think why not do Ruby versus Ronda? What do you got to lose? And then for my main event of Evolution. Becky Lynch defending her SmackDown Women's Championship versus Charlotte in stipulation time, a street fight. I was figuring what would be a good stipulation for these two. In an ideal world, Hell in a Cell wouldn't have happened. Hell in a Cell would have been called something else, and you could have saved a women's Hell in a Cell match to main event evolution between Becky and Charlotte. Ideal world. But we had the pay-per-view. We're not doing Hell in a Cell. So what big stipulation could you attach to a match like this? I think Street Fight. I think, you know, when was the last time we saw a women's Street Fight? Exactly. I think these two could go out there. They had a, a good match at Hell in a Cell. We'll probably have a good match at Super Showdown. In which I could see Becky retaining. And then you move on here one more time. You know, by hook or crook. Yeah, Becky retains, then we move here, street fight, these two beat the hell out of each other, and then we get a decisive winner, and we go from there. I think Becky and Charlotte main eventing, I wouldn't have a problem with it at all. And that, guys, is my card predictions for Evolution. Of course, 
I'll be doing a live review for Evolution. We'll be watching that show. Probably not watching uh, Super Show. I just... I mean, hockey's coming back, so there you go. And I'm probably not watching Crown Jewel. Oh, don't you love those jewels? <laughs> so now we know why they're doing the Evolution pay-per-view. Thanks, Vince. Kind of gave it away there. But that, guys, is my card predictions for Evolution. Be sure to click my like and subscribe button here on youtube.com slash danielgeyser412 for all my latest thoughts. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at danielgeyser412 for all my latest tweets. Follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash danielgeyser1994. And also be sure to check out my brothers at the Kane Action Team. Kane Action Team. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So that is it, guys, for this video. Um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video whenever that may be. So until then...